Good morning. Today is Tuesday, May 12th, 2020. We are uh, getting ready to take our dog on a walk. Ellie, come here. And uh, when we take our dog on a walk, we undoubtedly find things that are interesting. Um, the biggest thing lately, and I know I've talked about this a lot, but we are so into birds. I never thought I'd be someone that's into birding, um, but I love uh, looking more closely at the birds I see and noticing that some of them are different and uh, trying to figure out what they are. So I came across this great app. It's called Merlin ID. It's put together by the Cornell Labs, and I've had so much success with it. So sometimes when we go on walks, we go past the pond at Humboldt Park. And I had started, I always know that I'm going to find the red-winged blackbirds. These are very aggressive birds. They are jet black and they've got this reddy orange patch on its wings. And it's very vibrantly colored uh, in that one spot. And I know I'm going to see them there. But then I started, well... I also noticed there were these brown birds that had this like brownish, grayish, speckled coat or group of feathers on it. And up with some research and with the help of the identification, I found out that that's what the female looks like. Apparently it's only the males that are jet black with their bright red patch. Now that's pretty common that the males in a bird species are more elaborately colored it's the same case with the cardinals. Cardinals, the males are all the bright red and the females are more brownish red. Anyways, the cool thing about this app is that you can download um, kind of a, a, you first have to download like where you are. So we would be in North America and in the Midwest. So there's a whole grouping of birds that you're most likely to find there. And then it'll have you narrow down the size of the bird. So it'll say sparrow sized or smaller, robin sized, crow sized, or goose sized. And there's also like in between those different, um, in between the different sizes as well. Then it'll ask you to pick up to three main colors. And then it'll ask you to indicate where you saw it. If you saw it at a feeder, if you saw it swimming, if you saw it on the ground, if you saw it uh, in the tree or a bush, on a fence or a wire, or if it was flying or soaring. And I have been able to accurately find every bird that I've come across lately. And that's pretty exciting, especially because yesterday when we were walking at the park by the pond, I see this really small bird, so I, I pull out my app and I said smaller than a sparrow. I mean this guy was super tiny. He was hopping around in the branches but he had this like bluish white gray coloring to him uh, or her. I don't actually know. Um, and it was hopping around in the, the cattails on the edge of the cattails and the trees right along the pond. And so I enter in all, my, all the information and I discover that it is a blue-gray gnat catcher. I had no idea that was a bird. Things that you learn. Always new things to learn every day. Uh, so what kinds of things have you in quarantine suddenly gotten interested in that you had no idea that you would? Uh, comment below, share out. Maybe you've gotten really into baking or cooking. Maybe you've really gotten into sweeping or other chores or maybe you are fascinated with different bugs and insects or maybe you've rekindled an interest in rocks or just anything else. So share below uh, what you've suddenly gotten interested in and uh, because even every nobody ever stops learning uh, so there's always a space if you have a sudden interest to start exploring. So I hope that you have found something that has sparked your interest. Uh, don't forget that every day we expect 30 to 45 minutes of math. Practice your spelling words. We're on week 29. 
read for 30 minutes, and uh, don't forget to write. Uh, today is a writing circles meeting at 2. Before we split off into groups, I'm going to do a writing activity I'm really excited about. Um, so we'll get a chance to do some additional writing with that. So I hope to see you there. I'll also have the math word problems groups meeting the rest of the week. And, uh, and then on Friday, we'll share the work that we've done as well. So over the course of the week. So I hope to see you guys then. I hope you have a great, great day. Bye.